Hi, I'm Gaia. I'm the founder of Cocktails and Conversations. We are a networking company. We host events, social events and business events, so people can come together and network. So I'm somewhat an expert in this field, and I'm going to share with you today my top five tips for powerhouse networking, so you can network like an expert as well. So my first tip is actually to start with your immediate network. So you don't have to go to a networking event to be really good at networking. You can look at people who are in your social circle. This could be, of course, your LinkedIn and your social media. These can be people you go to the gym with or people that you could meet in a lovely private members club like this one we're in today, which is Kindred. But there are so many places that you can network with people who are already around you and they're going to be the ones who are more inclined to help you because they're already kind of invested in you. They know about you and they would be really interested in seeing you succeed. So don't be shy to talk to all the people about what it is you're trying to do with your business and see who could help. So my second tip, when you are going to a networking event, it's to be really confident. And if you're not naturally confident, there are a few things you can do to help elude confidence. First one I would say is dress to impress. Everybody feels better when they feel like they're looking good. But also, by wearing something a little bit interesting or a little bit quirky, it gives people an easy way to talk to you and break the ice. So if you have a nice piece of jewellery or a cool jacket, you put that on and people will be able to come up to you and comment on this. And then it's a nice way to lead into a networking conversation. But other ways to build confidence are things like power poses, which I really think help. So when you arrive at a networking event, if you feel really nervous, take five minutes, go into the bathroom, do some power poses, a few deep breaths, and then walk into the room with as much confidence as you can muster. So my third tip is be enthusiastic. People always feel energized when someone else is bringing their full energy and then they want to work with you, they want to help you because they feel like you're really going somewhere. But it's really tempting when you go to a networking event to run around handing out business cards to everybody and make as many connections as possible. But this is kind of counterproductive because you're not going to be making really good connections. So it's wonderful to talk to a lot of people, but don't try and connect with everybody and hand out cards. Really find the people that you think would make a really good working relationship with and spend more time with them. Really try to get to know them on a human level. So find out a bit about their families, find out a bit about what they like to do. Then when you follow up with them, you can bring these things up and let them know that you were really interested in them and you really want to form a connection with them. So I would say, Connect with one or two people and make sure you follow up with them afterwards. So send them a note or send them a message on LinkedIn, say it was so nice to meet them and offer to take them for a coffee and discuss what you were talking about a bit more. Now my next tip is to make sure you introduce other people as well. People really like it when you play it forward. So if you've met someone interesting or you go to a networking event and there's someone you know, try and introduce them to somebody else. If you are a connector, this is fantastic and it's the best way for people to want to connect you as well. So being the connector in a situation really makes you look like the expert and looks like the person to go to when other people need help connecting. My final tip is to research the person that you really want to network with. So, for example, if you're going to a business conference um, and someone is given a keynote speech and you really want to connect with them, research them before you go.
This also works for job interviews. Research the person that's interviewing you and find out a little bit about what makes them tick. You can find papers they've published from their LinkedIn or you search their name, something that they're really interested in. It could even be a GoFundMe that they did once for a sporting event. And when you sit with them, you can bring this up and you can say, oh, I saw the thing that you did or the thing that you wrote about and I really found it inspiring. And that way they'll feel a stronger connection to you and they'll be far more likely to want to help you succeed in your business plan. So those are my top networking tips. I hope you found them useful. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Hatch and Mel's Talk on YouTube. And if you'd like to come to any networking events, you can look up Cocktails and Conversation on Google and join one of mine. <music>